Hello, welcome to Movement Not Miracles. A little bit later than normal today, and there's a very good reason. Um, it's my son's birthday, and uh, and so we've just been wishing him happy birthday, and so I've just had to move everything on uh, a, a little bit. So normally at midday, today, just after one o'clock. Um, so I am Anna from Eat, Move, Be Happy, and Eat, Move, no, Movement Not Miracles is all about um, looking after your posture, looking after your joints, stretching through some of those muscles, keeping our joints mobile so that we avoid the stiffness and the aches and pains that we get from um, stiffer joints and um, poor posture. So um, Eat, Move, Be Happy is all about all things health and well-being. So check out the website www.eatmovebehappy.com for ideas on online coaching programs to help you with your eating, to help you with your exercise and to help you with your general overall well-being. Um, and if you see something that you think is useful, give us a shout um, or pass it on to somebody else that you think we might be able to help. Um, so enough wittering from me. Movement Not Miracles today is going to be about shoulders and upper back. So keeping our um, shoulders mobile, our shoulder blades mobile, and moving through our upper thoracic region of our spine, um, which is the bit that can get stiffer, particularly if we're sitting and we're very round-shouldered and slumped down. Um, so I've actually not had a bad morning this morning in that I've been for a walk, so I've been moving, um, and not just sitting, so that's my, my worst thing. If I sit for long periods of time, my upper back starts to ache. Um, but I thought I'd just give my shoulders and upper back a bit of TLC this afternoon and move th and stretch through them. So to start off with, you can do these seated or you can do them standing. Make sure that your weight is evenly distributed and you are sitting or standing tall. So that in itself helps to just stretch through our spine rather than, if I show you from the side, it's really easy for us to sort of sit down into our hips and everything sort of sags down. Whereas if we stand nice and tall, then one, it stretches through those vertebrae, but also, um, I hope my phone doesn't run out of battery, it's just spat a low battery warning at me. Right, we better get on with it, stop wittering. Um, but also it means that our muscles are in a much better position to support that good posture, um, which is what we want. So to start off with, we're just going to shrug those shoulders and let them drop down to the floor. So shrug them up to your ears and then let them drop down. So just let gravity do its job and drop your shoulders to the floor. This actually helps to release some tension in these muscles in the top of our shoulders and into our neck, which can get, those muscles can get really tight um, when we sit round shoulders. So, and then we're gonna take this into some shoulder rolls. I might need to move Martha onto her chair, just a little bit out of the way. So to start off with, just a nice roll of the shoulders up to your ears and back and down. So think, concentrate on your shoulder blades and see if you can feel your shoulder blades moving on your back chest. So they should move out and then squeeze together as you broaden across your collarbones and your shoulders come back and down. And then if you take that, increase the move with using your elbows. So if you can, elbows as high as you can and if you can take that into a complete, I don't want to whack the chair, arms as high as you can and back and round. If your shoulders are not that flexible like mine then I struggle to get my arms up by my ears but do what you can do, do as big a move as you can do and focus on that movement through the shoulder blades and encourage those upper back muscles to just work to get your shoulders to work through a full range of, of movement. Now for me, it helps me get a little bit more movement out of my shoulders if I take this into shoulder dislocates using a, you can use any sort of resistance. Um, you can use a broom handle, anything that's not gonna um, move. So, so not a resistance band unless it's a really tough one because that's gonna stretch. Um, this is a, a yoga belt, but you can use a dressing gown cord, um, a broom handle, 
So something that you can brace your arms against. The wider your hands are, so mine are quite wide at the moment, the easier this is. But if your shoulders are a little bit stiff like mine are, then having your hands quite wide to start off with is a good idea. Now we're keeping our arms straight and we're taking our arms all the way back and over. And as you go over to that furthest range of movement there, try not to let that happen. So don't let your bum stick out and your belly stick out. Try and keep your pelvis tilted under so you're working through the muscles in your bum to push your hips forward and keep that part of your body stabilised. One that looks after your lower back, but also it means you get more work through your upper back and your shoulders, which is what we're aiming for. So as you lift your arms up and over, at that point there for me is where I'm really squeezing my shoulder blades together. My shoulders are still away from my ears, so I'm not hunching up, I'm keeping my shoulders away from my ears. And I'm still breathing all the way through the move. That's quite important. <laughs> Martha is playing with the belt, which is not that good because she's going to spag my hands. Okay, so that's a bit more movement out of my shoulders there. Now, um, next one, we're going to take this one into a side bend, but aiming just for the upper back. So, again, sitting or standing nice and tall, everything starts from your base. So weight evenly distributed, keep your shoulders back and down. We've just done some work on that, so keep that space across your collarbones, shoulder blades squeezing together, and hands behind your head. So if you clasp your hands behind your head and push your elbows back without letting your shoulders creep up. So your shoulders stay back and down and the elbows stay wide. And we're just thinking of pointing one elbow towards the floor, aiming to keep the lower half of your spine still. So we're aiming to keep this part secure, stabilised, using the muscles in your bum and the muscles in your core, in your, in your tummy. So keep this bit still so you're not moving through the whole of the spine. That's not wrong, but we're aiming to work through our upper thoracic, so we want this bit stabilised, particularly as the upper part of your back is the bit that moves the least, if we're not careful. So just pointing your elbows towards the floor, keeping your elbows back, and again, not letting that happen. So we don't want our bum to stick out, we want that bum under, and we stay in that sideways plane. Keeping your elbows back and keeping breathing. And just encourage some sideways movement through that upper part of your back. And that's the bit for me that gets the stiffest. Bit of a tactical waggle. Okay, sorry, I've got an itchy eye. Um, right, so we're now going to stretch across the front of our shoulders. So one arm behind your back and just cradle that arm in your other hand. So if I show you from behind. So my shoulder blades are squeezing together. My shoulders are back and down. I've got my left arm supported in my right and I'm going to think of really squeezing those shoulder blades and to broaden across my collarbones. So you're going to feel a nice stretch in the front part of your shoulder, in those front deltoid muscles, keeping your shoulders away from your ears and staying sitting or standing nice and tall. It's a bit of a stretch rather than a mobility one, this one. And then a bit of a tactical waggle, the same on the other side. So this time, my right arm behind, supporting my right arm with my left. Now this shoulder is stiffer for me, so I've struggled to get this one back and down. But nice and broad across your calf loads and keep breathing. Okay, and then the final one for today, going back to mobility. So again, 
we want to stop that happening so we're working to keep the lower part of your body stable so clasp your hands together and keep your arms connected into your shoulders so we're not reaching forwards like this we're keeping some connection between the top of the arm and the shoulder joint so I, I think of connect moving my arms my arm bones back into my humerus here back into your shoulders so you're not reaching forwards and stretching through your upper back so when you've got that connection so my shoulders are away from my ears my shoulder blades are squeezing together my lower half is stabilized my butt is working my core is working turn your palms so they face away from you keeping those arms connected into your shoulders and then keeping everything stabilized through your spine lift your shoulders lift your arms back behind your ears now you will see that i that's really quite hard work for me because my shoulders are not that flexible if i show you from the front we're aiming to keep our keep your arms straight and keeping your we don't want that to happen so we're keeping our shoulders away from our ears arms straight that's the bit that i find hard and pushing your arms back as far as you can go so that's quite hard work in my shoulders um, but it does actually feel quite nice when it's finished um, change the clasp of your hands so whichever little finger was on the bottom the first, first time swap them round the second time and do exactly the same so start with your base get your lower half set arms connected into the shoulders and keeping that connection all the way up don't let that belly stick out, ooh, straight arms, and breathe. So this really works the muscles in my shoulders and the range of movement, but I do find it oh, quite hard work, which tells me I need to do it probably a bit more. Okay, so my shoulders feel a little bit more worked. There's a bit more movement through the shoulder joint itself definitely worked through the muscles in my upper back which is good um, doing something is better than doing nothing no matter how much movement you do it's better than not moving at all so um, frequency keeping yourself moving throughout the day can um, help look after those joints stretch through those muscles the, the less stiff and the stronger our muscles are then the more they will look after the joints the joints will work but they rely on the muscles to look after them so keeping our muscles and joints healthy is all about moving safely and moving regularly not sitting with poor posture in a slumped position so look after yourselves keep moving don't forget to check out the website www.eatmovebehappy.com and um, if you or you know of somebody who's finding this second lockdown particularly tricky and we are talking to some people who are then we have some ideas on uh, our online coaching programs practical ways of looking after your mental health and well-being um, and we'd love to be able to help more people so please do pass on the details um, thank you for being patient with me today and happy birthday sam and i will see you tomorrow at the normal time 12 o'clock have a lovely day.